the Lilac Hill Festival, traditionally the curtain raiser for Australia's international cricket season, has been scrapped. The West Australian Cricket Association says it's because international and interstate touring schedules are too demanding. Ever since the first one in 1990, the Lilac Hill Festival has been a fixture of Perth's summer cricket season, but organisers have called it a day. The nature of the cricket landscape over the probably the last five or six years in particular that um, not only international cricket but domestic cricket has changed immensely and uh, uh, unfortunately now we, we can't get uh, a test playing nation to agree to play the event. The association had hoped to host one last match this year but it wasn't to be. One of its founders, Keith Slater, says it's the end of an era. Oh, it's been brilliant. It's been brilliant. I mean, some absolute highlights. Uh, Dennis Lee played the first ten years and... Uh, what he put into it was absolutely enormous. It was Lily who provided one of the festival's greatest moments. In 1999, he opened the bowling with his son Adam and helped claim victory over Pakistan. Adam Lee with a wicket in his first over and look at him, he's pumped up. Former Test cricketer Brad Hogg says Lilac Hill gave him the opportunity to play with the cricket great. For about three overs, I thought this was sensational. One of the greatest bowlers the world's ever seen. Uh, to grow up watching this guy on TV, and I'm actually out in the middle playing with him. And he's disappointed the event will no longer be held. I remember playing a couple of games myself and just being able to interact with the kids and pass on a few tips about cricket. I think it's so special. Just short of its 20th anniversary, Stumps has been called on the Lilac Hill Festival. Jane Norman, ABC News.